Hello everyone over on YouTube and on the internet. Uh, my name is Patrick. I just wanted to share with you guys today a little discovery I made the other day. Uh, pretty much I just got into video editing recently. Uh, so I recommended I try Sony Vegas and I was able to learn it. So I took the time to start messing with it and one of the first effects I found on other people's YouTube videos was um, chroma key or also green screen, blue screen, things like that. And uh, I don't have a lot of space or money to work with so I was like trying to rig up my own kind of green screen and I tried and failed. <laughs> if you were to look around my room you can probably see behind me my computer monitor and you might even see some of the walls. The walls in my room are green so I was like I might lock out and uh, be able to use my own walls but it doesn't work. It's not the right shade of green and when I tried to key it out as they say it which is make the, the color go away it was too close to my skin color and my skin would disappear so then I tried some red sheets I had and the sheets they didn't work either too much red in my skin so uh, after two failures I kind of just had a bright idea one of the things I work with I do computer reviews and uh, things like that is uh, I a long time ago bought this behind me it's a 37 inch Westinghouse high definition LCD and I was like you know one of the important things about chroma key, and it's in all the videos you see on YouTube, is you have to have really good lighting. You have to have a lighting on the screen to make the screen light up evenly in all places so you don't have any shadows on it. And, uh, well, why light up the screen when the screen can light up itself? And that was my idea. So I happen to know a little bit about the computer world, and there's these monitor test programs where you can uh, queue up a solid color on your computer screen to test for dead pixels. And I'm actually just going to turn around here and start one up. <laughs> Today I'm just using the the EIZO ISO, I guess is how you say it. Their monitor test program. And once you start it up, you can see it gives you a whole bunch of different colors that you'll go, be, go through here. Um, we're going to go to the black, then gray, red, and green. And there you go. Um, this is a 100% perfect green, just like you want for your green screen, so there's no flaw in the color. And now the screen is lit up on its own, so there's no need for lighting. And the problem with it is, even with a 37-inch monitor, it's not very big. Uh, I could probably get my face on there if I sat back a little bit further, and that's about it. So it's not really effective for everything, but I've seen some videos on YouTube where people... When, this is one video in particular I'm thinking about where a guy went through so much trouble to set up a green screen just for a, a hand puppet. You know, he had one little green screen and he went and bought lights and bought materials and had everything set up, taking up all the space and time when this would have been perfect for that, you know. So I'm going to try to experiment. I took one of my son's toys. Let me go get it. Oh. This little Tyrannosaurus Rex here. So. I'm going to try to see how well this green screen works with this toy and try to put this into a different environment. It's just like a test. I'm brand new to video editing. I'm brand new to being on camera. So uh, we'll see how it goes. I tried it on my own earlier and it worked great with my face. But like I said, it wasn't really big enough. So the toy is much smaller and I can put it in scale and we'll see how that goes. So I'm going to cut here and we're going to jump into the edited video where I can uh, voice over and we'll just walk through it, okay? Alright, next part of the video here. Pretty much time to get down to testing and show you what this can actually do. Uh, it's pretty simple. What I'm about to play is just uh, it's a single clip where I had put that toy dinosaur in front of the screen and uh, let it run and chroma keyed it out. Then I'm going to be playing the same clip right afterwards in reverse and I'm going to fade out the chroma key effect. That way you can see that I wasn't cheating because since it's a computer monitor, it'd be pretty easy to cheat and just put a, a background on there. It works out really well as you can see. Like I said, it's not really applicable on everything. Uh, a flaw you could point out really easy is that while the screen is lit up really well and it gives a really good chroma key, um, the dinosaur is not. And that's an important thing you'll notice in pretty much anybody's tutorials on chroma key is it's a three point lighting system usually two lights for the screen and then one for the subject and 
I'm just using my standard room light. I didn't use any extra lighting. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play that clip now. You can see it forward with the chroma key in effect and then reverse where I fade it out. Thank you for watching everyone. That was pretty much the whole video. It's my very first video. Um, feel free to leave any questions or comments on YouTube if you have something to say. Uh, just be constructive in what you say. It's my first video ever so I know it's kind of amateur. Uh, I used a Fujifilm FinePix F30 for my camera. It's a regular camera but it has a video recording function. All the video editing was done on Sony Vegas Pro 8.0 and uh, you might see a part two of this coming in the near future I have another idea about trying out a video projector to make a green screen and if I get the materials and uh, it works out pretty well then I'll try to make a part two of this and you can look forward to maybe some other videos mostly like computer and video game related in the near future from me so thank you yet again for watching and see you next time